got British Boxing Blog here again with Lewis Ritson, but first time with Darcy Ritson. Yes, first time with her. <laughs> Oh, Looks like she enjoys it as much as you do. <laughs> I heard a few screams of dad during the press conference. Like, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Copyright. How are you anyway? No, I'm good, mate. How, how are you? I'm not too bad. Full of busy, but full of busy. Ah, yeah. Suppose you are as well. Yeah, the guy, the Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Ah. <laughs> so, I keep one of the biggest cliches in boxing is like don't look past your next opponent but there hasn't actually been any mention of your next opponent no but like, to be fair i don't even know who my next opponent is to be fair i've been telling to, i've got tell it was from some tanzania originally uh 22 only 18 and i've been told it's a french lad now so i, I couldn't, couldn't tell you how I'm, how I'm fighting myself but so that's definitely happening september uh, september I mean, the 8th definitely happening on that on the call of the call and then october then i hope you get through october in december so yeah, yeah, to keep my busy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, keep my busy and get my passports ready. Hi. Just a quick one about uh, about Patera, Lewis. Um, you know, like Eddie said there in the conference that you went down a few names, but Patera is someone that you you know you said yourself you watched him again, smashing Dodd. You impressed with him that night? Expecting a hard night's work? Or? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, before he had fought Masha Dodds, um, we had actually ran match room up because Dodds didn't have an opponent for that uh, three weeks beforehand, and we had rang match room up asking to fight Dodds and uh, Dodds team turned it down and picked Patera instead. So obviously we wanted to have a close eye on then for Dodd picking him and uh, do you know it was, a, it, was a, it was a good fight. Personally yeah. I think Patera could have might have edged it but well, that's what we uh, a similar opinion I Yeah and uh, but it was in obviously a couple of weeks notice in Dodds hometown so uh, you know he's a big lightweight, you see him's a big lad, he's the same stamp as me and it's gonna be gonna be a good fight. Again like most of your most of your press conference seems a, a you know a respectable chap. You know no hostilities there. Just just purely business for you and on to the next one. And yeah, well it would be me point trash short because I don't expect you to be able to understand Jordy, but he <laughs> I don't think he speaks much English himself. So I know I'm not like that. I just like to uh, come here, do my stuff. I'm away. I'm away to Fano's train after this. So yeah, straight to Fano's been training this one. That's what I'm just living life in the gym and just level headed. I've just spoken to Patel, like he was, again, just what you said there, very nice, full of respect and... Yeah, he seems a cool character, doesn't he? You know, you come, you know, there was no, no stylish, nerves, no stylish, stylish, a bit stylish, I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at me, come back to you know... Like, need up your game. I need up my game, I, so I was going to come in shorts originally, but I'm glad I didn't now, so... Uh, yeah, he seems a co cool customer, and I, and I think he's going to come to fight on the October the 13th. Stylish boxer as well, like, he's nice, happy on the back foot. He doesn't yeah. seem phased by boxing away, he said, like, obviously, he's boxing Liverpool, he's boxing different yeah, countries. Yeah, no, and I think, uh, I think you're going to see that. I think um, he is a good stylish, and I think that's what he gave Dodds problems with that, with his speed and a bit stylish on the back foot, and Dodds couldn't get in there and close until the last few rounds where Matira seemed to fade a little bit and Dodd was coming on a bit strong. So, you know, we're expecting, we're expecting a very good fight, and... Uh, I just can't wait now. Just a quick one again, uh, back in Newcastle again. You know, the last one seems two minutes ago to us, but Eddie, as good as his words, said he'd be back here this year. He's back again. As everyone's mentioned, there's a special atmosphere the last time. Expect more of the same again? Instead? Yeah, I expect more of the same last time. I mean, we've probably done it with 500 tickets already, and the tickets have only come the day. So we're expecting another good turnout. I mean, we sold 1,200 tickets last time. We expect to sell more this time, and uh, we're just wanting another, another atmosphere like that. Isn't it? You know, words can't describe it. It's a real, really. Yeah. Did you watch it? Did you ever watch it back? Or? Do you know what it is, right? It sounds corny. So I watched, I watched the entrance. I watched the ring entrance. And I right. turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Just with the buzz, isn't it? I watch the ring entrance. I turn it straight off. I'm not bothered about the fight. I like the ring entrance and all that. Can you stand still? Because he's coming closer. Sorry, I'm not just kind of out of the place like that. So no, I, I see. I watch the ring entrance and then. That's it done, I didn't watch out anymore for that. Do you ever think about like what a few of the other boxers are saying? Obviously, you're the main man and you're bringing boxing back and they're getting this chance because of how well you've done? No, I don't think of it like that. You know, like half the lads up there have been amateurs with them for years, you know, and sort of. It's like to me and Glenn we spoil each other all the time, you know, and it's get good spawn with each other. So. I bet they're tasty sessions. Ah, oh, you know, you know I'm, I'm in the same camp as Tommy Ward, so, awesome. you know, like, we're all just mingling with each other anyway, so it's not like there's one that stands out with me and you know Tommy Tommy boxing ability, he's he's a lot better than me, you know, boxing wise. Like, you know, it would not be the first to admit that, but then I can come with excitement. So it depends how you describe the main man, do you know what I mean? I think that's about it, you know. Fairly brief one. Triple B. Good. <laughs>